blessed morning, beloved, and welcome to Morning Church of this Friday, 21st July 2023, with the mountain top life daily devotional. Shall we pray? Precious Father, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one that was, the one that is, the one that is to come. The everlasting King of glory. We worship and adore you this morning. And we return all power unto you. Be thou greatly lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for daily loading us with benefits. Thank you, Lord, because we lay down, we rose up because you are the one sustaining us. To you be all the glory and praises in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the grace we have received to be here this morning. The privilege of hearing your word. Thank you, Lord, for counting us worthy for the blessings of this morning. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, this morning we ask that you forbid every interference of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. You will make all of us prosper through your word this morning. And going forward, we shall be better thereby. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Today's charge is titled, Choose Your Friends Wisely. Choose Your Friends Wisely. Our memory first is Proverbs 27, verse 17. Proverbs 27, 17. It says, Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. Who you move with or who you confess with determines your countenance, your well-being, wise and profitable discourse, wise and profitable dealings, bring lifeliness, makes you witty or more witty, sharpens your look, build you up. So when you have somebody by you, Whose dealings, conversations, interactions with you are wise, profitable, and beneficial, you will grow thereby. So, whoever is by you determines what is with you. Motivational quote It is not what we have in life, but who we have in our lives that matter. It is who is in your life. Someone says, show me your friend. Then I can easily tell the kind of person you are. In fact, the way you look, your countenance, your witness or otherwise, will even show people that you don't have good people around you or you have good people around you. If there is anything we need to pursue very well. It is having good people around us, especially friends. The greatest asset or resource in life is men. I pray for somebody, God will give you the gift of good and wonderful people in Jesus' mighty name. Prophetic word for today. You shall always be connected to the right people and disconnected from the wrong people in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. 
God will move wrong people out of your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Uh, the fire scripture for today is found in 1 Samuel 18, 1 to 5. 1 Samuel 18, 1 to 5. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would not let him go no more to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David and his garment, even to his sword and to his bow and to his gadu. Verse 5. And David went out with us wherever Saul sent him and behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war and he was accepted in the sight of all people and, all in the, and also in the sight of Saul's servant. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Choose your friend wisely. Why? Friendship can make or ma can make you a man you can make you or break you can build you or destroy you if you do not employ wisdom in the choice of who your friends will be the kind of life that will follow thereafter Will be full of regret. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 3, chapter 13, verse 6, they ask a man, well, What about these wounds on your hand? Ah, he said, See me, it is what are the wound I sustained in the house of my friends. So that means your friends can wound you, can wound your destiny can wound anything around you if that if that is the kind of friend you have in lamentation one two the bible said the woman cried and shed bitter tears why because his a friend had dealt treacherously with her so we have friend who can deal treacherously with people because they are not good friends. That's why you need to choose your friends wisely. Friendship is not by force. It is by choice. You have to your choice to make. And that is why we are saying this morning, if in the exercise of that choice, that power of choice, be wise. Be wise. Who you follow determines what follows. The Bible says, He that moves with the wise becomes wise. But the follower of a fool of a fool is destroyed. So somebody can choose a friend that will destroy him or her. Somebody can choose a friend that will move him or her forward, that will build her up, that will help him or her to fulfill destiny. Like I said earlier, the greatest asset on earth, the greatest resource on earth is people. Who are the people around you? Who are the people around you? You have your choice whether to stay with toxic people or to, to detach from them, whether to depart from the company or the congregation of, of, of evildoers or to stick with them. But my prayer this morning is that God will make wise, will wise on to choosing 
good and right friends in life in the name of Jesus. Beloved, we will go on a short break now and we'll be back. When the things that you do are backed up and secured by open heavens, prosperity and security are bound. It's the implement of labor taking place at the August edition of Power Must Change Hands. Team Go Forward by Fire. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mounted of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. 5th of August, 2023, 0700 WAT. This program will be streamed live on all social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixlayer. Don't forget, free to air MFM television on IS20, the August edition of PMCH. Go forward by fire. Come soak this implement of labor in the blood and fire and catapult yourself to the next level. Come to this meeting fast and believing God for something extra. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Beloved, you are welcome back. Choose your friends wisely. That is what we are discussing. You do not get to choose your family. No. You are born into it. Without your permission, without your consent, you find yourself being born of your father and your mother. But you can choose your friends. You have power over who should be your friend, who should move with you, who you should move with. So you need to choose them wisely because a wrong friend can mislead you or destroy every good thing you have ever achieved. A friend is a person with whom you have a bond of mutual affection, one that excludes a sexual or family relationship. One with a bond of mutual affection not a bedmate, not a sex mate, not a blood relative. A friend, by reason of this definition, shows respect, gives assistance, support, and encouragement. A friend is someone you can trust. He is not envious of you, does not backbite you, does not gossip about you. A friend that we are talking about is a destiny booster. That's a good friend, a right person beside you. He's a destiny facilitator. He's a destiny promoter. He's a positive influencer around you. He encourages you to stretch yourself and be a better fashion of yourself. He's someone that makes you wiser. He's someone that helps you grow. He's someone that adds to you, that does not reduce you or take away from you. That's a true friend. I pray for you. As God bring men across your way, your path, May you receive wisdom to choose the right ones in the mighty name of Jesus. In the Bible, Jonathan is a, a, an example of such a friend. In that scripture we read, the Bible says that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Despite the fact that David was gaining much recognition in the land jonathan was not envious of him no that's a true friend somebody who is not threatened by your achievement who, who does not see you as a threat somebody who, 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 who is happy at your success and achievement somebody who, who will boldly say like john the baptist concerning Jesus, he said he sh I, I should increase while I decrease. Somebody who is ready to give his all to you. 
somebody who is ready to burn himself for you. May you receive that kind of a gift or person in the name of Jesus. In fact, it was his father, Saul, who angrily said, Do not I know that thou hast chosen the son of Jesse to thy own confusion and unto the confusion of thy mother's nakedness? For as long as the son of Jesse liveth upon the ground, thou shalt not be established, nor thy kingdom. Wherefore, now send and fetch him unto me, for he shall surely die. Jonathan knew he was the heir apparent. He was the one to reign after Saul, but no, because he loved David. He himself told David that, I know God has anointed you as king. You will be king after my father, and I will be your deputy. He said it. Somebody who will not, because of your glorious destiny, begin to look for your downfall. That is a true friend. I pray again, may you receive the gift of such men and may you receive wisdom to keep them in the mighty name of Jesus. Saul knew that Jonathan had chosen David and he thought the choice was to his detriment. Jonathan made a wise choice and defended his choice even in the face of death. He didn't go looking for friendship in princes or other highly placed people. He saw one in a youth who could take his place as a king. But he was not bothered. He was a true friend and he also found a true friend in David. Found a true friend in David. He made a covenant with David. He was loyal to him. He, fought in, he had to even inform him when his life was in danger. He risked his life, own life. He dared his father to save his friend. Once again, may you receive the gift of wonderful men like that in the name of Jesus. However, David too was faithful to their friendship even after Jonathan died, as he took care of Jonathan's son, may Bibo said. One day he arose because of friendship and in announcing the palace, is there no body remaining in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they told him, ah, there is one boy Jonathan's son, but he's lame in his feet, and behold, he's in one remote village called Lodeba. He said, wherever that boy may be, go and look for him and bring him unto me. Even when somebody of Mephibosheth's maybe, maybe, maybe uh, ability or disability, should not be on the king's table because of friendship. David brought him onto his table. He was eating at the king's table. So he was faithful to their friendship. The relationship between Jonathan and David or their friendship is a perfect example of mutual affection. And that's the kind of friendship God wants his children to have for his love. Jesus said to his disciples, By this shall men know that if you love one another, then ye are my disciples. When people see love among you, ye eat my commandment and love one another. Love one another. For God himself is love. I want to ask you, dear listener, are you a good friend? I know you want to choose good people, right people as friends, but you yourself, are you a good friend? Are you, can you make a good friend? Can 
wise people choose you as a friend, can they? Friendship is symbiotic. It is symbiotic. It is not one-sided. It is mutual. It is both ways. It is not parasitic. It is mutually beneficial. It is not one-sided. Have you proved to be a good friend to someone? This is a question you need to answer. We are to choose our friends wisely. If people also would choose wisely, would they choose us as friends? Are you really friendly? Are you, are you loyal to your commitments? Are you ready to go out of your way to do things for people you call your friends? Are you? These are questions we must answer ourselves. We go on another short break. We come back and we conclude this morning, church. God bless you. Determined to move your family from mockery to miracles. Break every jinx and spell working against your family. Destroy every evil pattern walking against your family. Break every family curse working against your family. Receive stolen and lost glory off your family. Put your family in the envelope of the God of Elijah. These six powerful agendas will be dealt with on the 9th, 16th, and 23rd of August, 2023. It's the August Special Man Water Service. Feed on Cage Your Family. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, 0430 p.m. WAD. The August Special and water trio come reposition your family with these divine steps align to put a family in place this program will be available in all our social media platforms facebook youtube instagram twitter and mixlear don't forget mfm television come fasting to this program with a list of family names a bottle of oil and of course a bottle of water jesus is waiting for you Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back. Our topic is choose your friends wisely. It is my prayer that after this morning church, you will receive grace to surround yourself with the right people in the mighty name of Jesus. In the journey of destiny, when it comes to divine assignments, God does not deal with good, but with the right thing. All right people. One of the things you will do for your destiny is to ensure that you have the right people around your, your, your life. Some people can be nice, but they may not be part of the journey of your life. It is part of what wisdom will do for you. The power to choose the right person or the right people. I pray for you. God will embrace you with it in the mighty name of Jesus. This calls for a deliberate and conscious effort 
at deciding who your friends will be. Many people will come your way. You will cross paths with many people. But it is your responsibility to make sure that you see for way people who are not meant to be in your life. And God will give you grace to do that. Beloved, I will implore you to pray the following prayers very well. Number one, say, Oh Lord, my Father, forgive me if I have chased away the right friends you brought to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Oh Lord, my Father, forgive me if I have chased away the right friends, the right people you have brought to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, if I have called friends enemies and enemy friends, Lord, forgive me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help me bring back the right people that have chased away. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's the second prayer. Pray it very well. Going forward, you will need the grace and the power of God, the wisdom of God to choose your friend wisely. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, help me to choose my friends wisely. In the mighty name of Jesus, Oh Lord, my Father, help me to choose my friends wisely. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me to choose my friends wisely. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray for you. Every sentiment that is leading you to wrong friendship, every manipulation, whatever it is in your life that is magnetizing wrong people to you or magnetizing you to wrong people, I pray that they will die off now in the mighty name of Jesus. Going forward, the Lord will help you to choose your friends wisely. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray the third prayer like this. And it is very, very necessary and important. Say, oh Lord, help me to be faithful and true to my friends. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, help me to be true and faithful to my friends. Help me to be faithful to my friends. Help me to be true to them. In the name of Jesus, help me to be loyal and faithful to the true friends you have brought to me. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. I pray. Let the grace to remain faithful and true to your Christ, to the true friends God has blessed you with. Come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Every enemy disguising as your friend, I pray that such will be exposed and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. I disconnect you, even as I disconnect myself from destiny, destroying associations and friends in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will position you to meet the right people in the name of Jesus. The right people for your life, for your destiny, for your ministry, for your career, for your calling. Holy Ghost, we orchestrate your meeting with them in the name of Jesus. As iron sharpens iron, receive strength to sharpen your God-ordained friends in the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle of our friend in your life dies today. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved, thank you for joining us here this morning. And I pray you have a grace-filled day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.